Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel again. Uh, today I bring you an um, excited video because I want to talk a little bit about the, on my Ironic K Eyeshadow Palette Collection. I'm going to be showing you like my most, uh, what can I say, like my most favorite eyeshadow palette by Ironic K and my least favorite, Naked Cherry, this palette. I do not like this palette at all. In the beginning of the pandemic, I bought this palette in Sephora online and I couldn't return it because Sephora was closed all those months due to the pandemic just like a lot of stores were closed you know I was kind of excited I saw like lots of videos and everybody was raving about this eyeshadow palette and I was like maybe I should try it like why not like I need I don't have a cherry palette let's buy it well the packaging is like the rest of the nakeds very very cute and um, these are the shadows I don't like this palette at all um, some of the shadows over here, when you blend it, they turn the same color. I don't know what it's about it, but they look a little bit different on the palette, you can see. But when you are blending it on your crease, on your eyelid, they become the same color. And some of these lighter shades are okay, but they just like very, very blue. You know, like there's nothing exciting about it. The shimmers are like, I feel like a drugstore eyeshadow palette will be better than this type of shimmers over here this is a very very subtle very very subtle like very nude cherry eyeshadow palette and those shades over here this is like the deepest shade in the palette and it's not deepest enough for my skin tone so yeah i was very disappointed so it's like definitely my my least favorite next palette i want to show you i like this one this one is very very natural this is the naked reloaded they made the original naked which they decide to discontinue that palette and then they came with this one reloaded i love the packaging it's so soft it's so pretty like i swear it's so so pretty this one doesn't come with a brush it comes with a mirror these are the shadows very very natural shadows this is this is a palette that is great for every day but it's very very nude like very very soft the shadows blend very well there's no um no intensity the deepest shade in the palette is this one which is like the darkest deepest shade and that one is like okay it does the job i feel like that one kind of make from both sides like hold together because other than that like the palette will be like mm. like you know you always need like the lightest version all the way to the deepest sh shade in order to create definition and beautiful depth around your crease your eyelid but anyway the palette is gorgeous just for every day pretty much i feel like if you use this at night mm, i remember when i had this palette i returned it immediately i hate it because i was like i was looking for something kind of like the original naked and this is just totally different it, it, there's no concept of the original naked here and they call it naked reloaded, like reloading what? But then I was like, you know what? Um, maybe one day, every time I was passing by, I was like, I hate that palette, I hate that palette, I hate that palette. And then this palette in my collection because they throw the price of this. And I ended up getting this palette like for $20, I remember. And since then, I have it in my collection. I was like, okay, I was so close to pay like 40 something and then I got it for 20. I think 20 is more worth, it's way worth it than 40 something, you know? So, yeah. Okay, the next palette is the Naked 2. This palette, you know, is cool tones. When I got this palette back in the day, I used to hate it so much because I felt like it didn't work for me. Can we approach? Just like most of Urban Decay eyeshadow Naked palettes. I felt like the only shadows that worked for me here was like the cool tone black some of the light shades like these ones the shimmer shade wouldn't work for me and these shades will be very crazy and weird on my eye it looks like very very weird so i remember i didn't like it but then eventually start like using it more and more and more and end up liking it not falling in love but liking it so now it's part it's still part of my collection it's, i still didn't declare it i do have the original naked by the way i palette in a C palette and I have it right here in my collection so my desk you can see I have also naked basics over here 
I have the original naked over here. I have also, again, the naked two here. I have the naked bases, and I have the naked, I believe the tree, the rosy tongue. Yeah, naked tree. This one on the bottom. Anyway, so I have all the naked one, naked two, and naked, which is the original naked, the naked two, and the naked three, and the ultimate bases, which I love this palette, but sometimes I forget to carry this big palette, so I just take my naked two, even the individual, and I use it, so it's great. I'm gonna show you the naked heat. My husband got, uh, give me, give me this palette. When you first launched, I remember I was looking like crazy for the VCR warm mat, and it was sold out everywhere. And my husband is like, you're looking for warm mat shadows? What about Urban Decay? I passed by Sephora and I saw that they were putting that palette like in the, <laughs> and you know, Sephora sometimes they put like in the front of those, like in a special table, like new palettes when they first like launch or something, or first like arrive in the store. So he got me this as a gift, and I was like, oh, I didn't want that. Like, I want it so bad, then the warm mat from BCR, you know? But I still was very thankful and grateful that he got me this palette. So I tried it. This is the Naked Heat. These shadows are amazing for fall. They blend so well like butter, and you had darker shades here to play, to play and blend, and it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And since then, I didn't declare this palette because, it, you know, it's part of a gift that he he got for me. So I still keep it in my collection. But it's a, it's a very, very good palette for sure. So if you're thinking about getting the Naked Heat, I totally recommend you. It's a great palette. It's like a, um, an affordable way to get a VCR war mat because the quality of VCR is amazing, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. And this palette is like... If you want more an alternative that is a little bit cheaper, the Naked Heat is great for that. Uh, my next palette that is the Naked Smoky, which is this one right here. And this palette is old. I remember it in the discontinued. This palette still has like the plastic here already. Like these are the shadows. I love silver. Silver is my favorite color, and I cannot was in love with this color over here, also with this kind of grayish blue color over here. Some of those browns are great to kind of blend these shadows over here. It has light shades. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I still have a brush over here. Never use it. It's been sitting there. But this is definitely a very nice palette too. I don't think they have it anymore. They don't have a naked, smoky, but you know about the K. You know a lot of brands, just like Natasha and Nona, they always say that they discontinue a product and they eventually bring that product back. This one I had a, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. This is the new palette by Urban Decay. This is the Naked Urban Decay and Robin Eisenberg. This palette is very pretty. And I was, when I saw it, I was like, oh, such a stunning palette. They sent me this palette and I tried a couple of times. And these shadows over here are very, very patchy. This shade over here is absolutely beautiful, the matte blue shade. Super nice. And the colors over here, they're all super nice. All of them, they're gorgeous until here. Once you get into those bluish, greenish shadows over here, this tree over here, everything's a mess, Every, there's fall off everywhere, and there's patchiness like crazy. Um, I tried to create like three looks with this palette already and they all, when, every time I tried, I touch the shadows, my look always end up turning absolutely awful, like patchy, incredible patchy. Naked Wild West. This is a very beautiful palette and it has these warm shades. This green over here is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed with all the shadows over here. Very, very beautiful palette. I totally recommend you if you're looking for a neutral palette that has like some color and you don't feel like comfortable to play with colorful shadows this is like a good way to start like you know you have new shadows over here but you also have these nudie kind of colorful shades like this one and this one and a little bit of this one very very nice especially these two colors over here along this color over here the gold one and this one that looks a little bit like kind of 
I don't know, that one is called Cowboy Rig. That color is like very shimmery and it's very, very pretty. It's almost like a silver with sparkles. Very, very pretty shadow. Really, really nice. Another palette that I like so much is this one, but I have like a low hair relationship because I feel like these shadows, this one called Wild Greens. And I love the packaging because it had no mirror. It doesn't bring a brush like, you know, normal Urban Decay naked palette or Urban Decay shadows. It looks like this. These shadows are so, so pretty. The shimmers are stunning. The mattes are very subtle and they're very nudie. I love that. You can create some beautiful green looks over here. The only issue I have with this palette is like some of the shimmers kind of fade. And not just on the eyelid. And, not, and even when you apply any like eye primer, the shadows still fade. Like there's something about the formula. Also, the shimmers are like some of them are very, very pigmented and they're very beautiful, but some of them are very, like, disappointed. So, yeah, it's kind of a low hate relationship with this palette for sure. Okay, the next palette I want to show you is the Naked Tree. I do have it like this too. You know, I will show you that I have this one in my C palette, so I don't really use this one. I have it more as a backup because I do have my C palette, Naked Tree, but I love this palette so much. It's so beautiful. I love those rosy shades. And the deepest, the darker shades in the palette. And this is like a very subtle kind of rosy shade. And it's definitely for every day. I am in love, in love with this palette for sure. Another palette that I, it was on sale for so long. Like they were selling it. They were sending me emails, tons of emails for me to get this palette. And I never like dare myself to get a freaking palette. Or when it came to the palette, I was like, oh, I want the palette now. There was no way to buy it. It was sold out. And it was this continuous thing. And having the website, no even Sephora. All the same, like so many emails. Like, oh, get a palette for 20 bucks. I was like, no, I don't want it. No soon rack sent me also email. Like, oh, we had a palette on sale. Like, you can get it for $16. And I still didn't get it. A friend of mine gave me this palette. <laughs> I was like, staying away. The hell away from this palette. The entire time they were having that palette for sale. Never got it. And then a friend of mine is like, I want to get rid of some palettes. Like, do you want this one? And I'm like, which one? And she's like, they don't have any more. It's Born to Run by Urban Decay. I'm like, are you really serious? Like, I love the mirror. It's very heavy, but it's very nice. This is the palette over here. These are the shadows. There's warm tones there. Some purple colors. I have to tell you, this palette is so amazing. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's subtle. You can create so many beautiful looks with this palette. I don't even know why I didn't dare myself to buy the freaking palette back in the day. Well, anyway, my friend gave it to me. So I've been using this palette sometime to get ready, like in the morning and over the weekends too. Like I've been using this palette a lot and it's so pretty. Like, look, the shadows are so stunning. Like, don't even get me, get me started. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm in love, so I'm happy that she gave it to me. I'm so thankful and grateful because of that. I love it. And I love the packaging. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to show you like my three most favorite eyeshadow palettes by Urban Decay. And I'm going to start with Mundo's Sparkle Toco eyeshadow palette. You can see it right there. It just, those are toppers. So you can use any eyeshadow and you pop one of those toppers on the top and it make your shadows like, wow so stunning and when you hit the light like for example if you're walking in the mall or you're walking like in a let's say a party at night and this lighting and hit your shadows it's like the sparkles are like whoa so beautiful like everybody i remember people i was in a place in a casino called mohegan song in connecticut and i was there and i had like this shadow and everybody was well not everybody but like a lot of women were like coming to me to ask me like what shadow was and I was like no it's a it's a topper it's a topper by Urban Decay you know it's Mundos by Urban Decay it's this palette over here so stunning the pants are very tiny but you just need like a little bit and you apply on top of your eyeshadow and it's like wow it made your shadow pop it doesn't matter the shadow it could be like a subtle shadow a very like outstanding shadow and this made your shadows pop so beautiful you have no idea i'm in love with this okay my next favorite palette is the naked honey by around k this palette is so gorgeous i'm in love with these colors you have no idea those colds 
I was very into, like, I was very against the goals. I was like, oh, I know the pilot with gold shadows, like, really? Today, I love the goals, and the reason is because, or I want to say, honey, I shadow palette. I just found, like, the gold shadows are so stunning, and this one over here, they kind of, like, I don't know how to describe it, but they're, like, this one is, like, a mustard gold, and this one is so vibrant. It's a warm gold. In the neutral, I mean, you cannot go wrong with this palette. It's so beautiful. So if you see it, make sure to grab it because it's a very nice palette. The, the neutrals are very nude. Um, they blend very well, very easy. But the warm golds are wow. And last eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay is the Ultimate Basics. This one over here. I think they discontinued this palette too. But I've seen it everywhere online. Like you can find it on eBay and Amazon. You can find it on Poshmark. Poshmark have it. I know because uh, I bought this palette uh, from my Nostrum Rack. They have it and they sold it to me. I love this beautiful palette. This is the ultimate. When Urban Decay had it, I never like portrayed Porsche, the palette. And these shadows are so beautiful. To me, I was in the palette, I was like, this is boring. This is just another neutral palette, just like all the palettes I have. Like, this is boring. Well, it's not. I'm obsessed with this burgundy shade and this color over here. I noticed the pomegranate has the co this color now. Um, this color is so, the, all of them are so pigmented, so beautiful. I love these shadows over here to, for the brow bone to illuminate my eyes, my inner tierra. I love those darker, deeper shades. Oh, so, Cool tone, warm tone on the bottom. It's such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I am in love and I'm obsessed with the mirror. It's great to bring this palette around and you just have your mirror over there. You get ready, very nice, your whole face. And you can also, you know, touch on your makeup, your eyeshadow, everything. I'm obsessed with this palette. Um, I got it for Northern Rock, like I say, but you can online, there's plenty of them. Thank you so much for watching my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palette Collection uh, from my most favorite or from my least favorite to my most favorite let me know which one is your favorite eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay thank you so much and see you in another video